D vs Marvel, the great debate that goes on for hours, days, weeks, months, years, it's been going on forever. Well, I know the true answer to it. But first, I'm going to give myself a plug, right? But first, this is Talking Pop Culture, where we talk about comics, TV shows, movies, everything pop culture related. We do podcasts on. So hit that subscribe button. If you join the video, give it the thumbs up. Now let's get back to this, right? DC vs Marvel. The true winner of this is neither of them, okay? They are just as good as each other, and they both need each other. Now I'm going to use the films as an example in this, not the comics, because personally I feel that the indie job, indie companies are doing a way better job than what DC and Marvel are doing. Yes, Marvel's got some good stuff going on with this King in Black. DC's got a little bit of good stuff going on with Future State with the comics, but I feel that this debate always happens because of the films. So we're going to talk about the films. Now, firstly, your fanboys, fangirls, casual fans, you're going to hit the dislike button. Don't really care. My podcast is straight up, but you guys need to shut up and pipe down, all right? Straight up, all right? If you're just strictly Marvel, just strictly DC and got to bag the other one and the other one, just shut up because it's you that are killing our industry, okay? It's you that are killing this industry. Now, Marvel, again, I'm 35 years old and I enjoy Marvel, so I'm not <laughs> knocking these people. Marvel are designed for kids. The demographics that Marvel go for are for the kids, okay? They go family friendly, Get the family to the films. That's what they're designed for, okay? Get the family film. Get the kids buying all the toys. That's what they're designed for, okay? DC, on the other hand, yes, before, oh, someone types down there, oh, wait, wait, Deadpool's going to be rated R. All right, because that's what you casual you casual fanboys, fangirls, always got to have a response to something. Yes, Deadpool's going to be rated R, and then that's probably it. But DC, okay, they're more your darker tone. They're more of your, your, your older teens, your... Adults, okay, that's what they focus on. Now, the Justice League was absolute bloody garbage because Warner Brothers made the mistake of listening to you casual fans and making it brighter tone, making Batman make fucking jokes when he doesn't make goddamn jokes. Um, and that film became the bottom of the barrel. Now, you people that always, you know, Marvel fans that bag uh, DC, I can guarantee you when uh, Nolan's trilogy Batman was out, I guarantee you, you guys sat there and love it. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I know you did. Just, just okay, and then all you DC fans that knock Marvel, it's okay to be jealous, it's okay to understand that a company is doing better with the films and the shows, it's okay because guess what? They need each other to both survive, they take ideas from each other. Every hero is freaking relatable. You grab Hawkeye, Green Arrow, they're the same. Batman, Iron Man, yes, Iron Man, you know, flies with his, but they're both billionaire rich people trying to help. Okay, they all have similarities, okay? They all do, right? That's because they take the creativeness off each other and they, without intentionally helping each other, they help each other, right? If one of these companies go, they both will go. I can guarantee you that. Now, luckily, they will never go, okay? However, I feel Warner Brothers is going down that road, but they need each other. So therefore, there is no reason to hate. I love basketball. Basketball's my favorite sport. I love sport. I don't hate every sport because I think basketball's the best. No, a true fan of sport loves all sport. A true fan of comics loves all comics. A true person of film that loves film, they'll love all films. They'll disagree with some films and not like all films, but they'll like all genres pretty much. That's the same as DC and Marvel, man. There's no reason to hate. There's no reason to say that this one's better, this one's better, because they're not. They're not. They are both the same. They're both equal. Okay? DC got lucky. They were bought out by Warner Brothers. Marvel, however, they went bankrupt. They went selling off all their stuff. Like, they've all had their accomplishments and they've all had their, you know, have uh, failed at some things. Okay? But it doesn't mean one's better than the other. Okay? And if we keep, well, not we, if you fanboys and fangirls, social fans, whatever the fuck we call you guys these days, if you guys keep talking shit about the other product, <laughs> you're gonna cause shit like the Justice League. You're gonna Marvel will never change up. I think Marvel do a great job of fan service. They do a great job. DC just their problem is they're trying to give fan service to the casual fans. Okay, they're not giving fan service to the fans. You know, they did Nolan series Batman was so great, and then you know Zack Snyder. Yes, he does a darker tone. Yes, he has you know a different vision for the characters and. It's different, and I feel the Snyder Cut might redeem itself, might make 
you know, it puts an end to, to what the story he was telling. But just because they made shit films, you fanboys, doesn't mean they're a shit company, okay? Because DC kicks Marvel's ass when it comes to comic sales. And I'm not saying that because, yes, 90% of my comics are DC, 95% of my toys are, uh, are um, they say Spider Man's my second favorite. I love Spider Man. I collect a lot of Spider Man stuff. So I'm not making excuses for DC's failing, okay? And I'm not making this video because I'm a DC fan. I'm just trying to, you know, no. I'm making this video because I'm a, a, a true comic fan. I love my comics. I love both companies, and I hate it. I hate it how people have got to make it a competition because it's not a competition. For Christ's sake, I'm pretty sure I read. Now, you can quote me if I'm wrong. I'm happy if people quote me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that the Avengers were created because they found out the idea of the Justice League was getting created. And I'm not saying Marvel ripped off DC or DC rips off Marvel, no. But the ideas came from one another back in the days, right? Like, they've done crossover books together, you know what I mean? Like, so yeah, Stan Lee's throwing a little punch and jabs and being funny about, you know, but there's never really been between the two companies, you know, East versus West, you know? There's never been that war, that beef, okay? So please, if you're a fanboy, fangirl, which most likely will be giving this video a thumbs down, which is cool because my podcast is straight up. I'll be honest, I don't, I don't, I don't do it for thumbs up, thumbs downs. I do it because I love to have conversations. I love to interact with people. So please, in the comment section below, let me know what your thoughts are. But uh, yeah, I'll leave that with a simple. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> if you didn't enjoy this video, give it a thumbs down. If you like to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button. If you want to feature on a video, hit me up on Instagram. It's at Talking Pop Culture, and I'd love to do live uh, podcasts with you guys as well. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. That's my answer to DC vs. Marvel. And uh, speak to you soon.